This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. It's Wednesday, which means we're doing a Learn My Licks video, and this is going to be the last in this series of Learn My Licks videos, certainly for a little while anyway. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a rest. We may come back to it. We'll see what happens. It's going to be uh, replaced next week with uh, a new series of videos. More on that uh, coming up later in this video. So what are we talking about today then in this uh, last in the current series of uh, Learn My Licks? Well, I've had a couple of requests for people, uh, from people I should say, to uh, cover a little bit of fingerstyle technique. Now, I do do this occasionally, but I'm not exactly James Taylor, it has to be said. Um, so what I thought I'd do is just dedicate this last video in this series of Learn My Licks uh, to showing you how I go about playing... Um, the very very simple forms of finger style that I play and I find them find this one pattern that I use quite versatile um, and um, well, I'll tell you what here's a little bit of it in action And here's an explanation about what I'm actually getting up to with that uh, fingerstyle pattern that I was playing there. Lick explanation. Okay, then this is the uh, fingerstyle pattern that I tend to just always default to whenever I'm playing anything. Fingerstyle. Uh, but first of all, a little bit about technique. Um, what we're going to be doing is splitting the strings into two pairs of three. Okay, we've got these strings, the bass strings which any notes on those is going to be the responsibility of the thumb on your uh, picking hand, uh, your right hand if you're a right-handed guitarist. And each of um, the other three strings in this pair of three uh, have one finger each assigned to them. So it's going to be uh, first finger for anything on the third string, second finger for anything on the second string, and third finger anything on the third string so basically if I just hold down a C chord I'm going to play the fifth string uh, with me thumb and then I'm just going to pluck me way through the rest of the chords like that so I can go and that basic technique there of being able to just up the chord and then just return to like the, um, the the starting position is the basis of what we're going to be doing here. It's worthwhile mentioning that uh, because we are playing finger style, 
it doesn't mean we're not playing rhythm guitar. So there is a rhythmic element to it. And if we take a standard rhythm count in eighth notes or quavers of one and two and three and four and, you could simply go one and two and three and four and like that. And that would do. But the uh, the pattern I tend, as I say, to always default to is I'll go one and two. Then on the end of two, return to whatever bass note is appropriate for the chord. In this case, it's the fifth string. So one and two and. And then uh, the three and four and I will play on the top three strings. So three and four and like that. So we'll get... Like that, and you've got a, a nice little rhythm there. Okay, so if I just uh, walk through the chord sequence that um, is like the verse of that little demo that I did there, it goes C. I'm going to put the, the little finger on here for the C chord as well, but it's still a C chord. Then we're going to go to a G chord with a B in the bass. So let's just show you that shape there. So that's that finger there and then th little finger there and we get so so far we've got two bars that go like that now the next bar there are two chords in that bar so we have to kind of we can't do a full bar on each chord so what we do is well, what I do is I just play what um, we looked at in the uh, in the first case there where I just go one and two and and then that's an A minor chord and then we bring this finger over to here for the G over uh, sorry the C over G chord so we get and then after that we're into an F chord So the first four bars of that tune go like this. And by then you should have got uh, the idea of what's going on. The main thing is, as I say, that you're going, uh, if I just kind of do it, just concentrate on this hand, I'm going one and two and three and four and a question that is often uh, raised at this point is okay so how do i know which thumb to go for uh, which string to go for with me thumb um the the basis is that you just use the root note of the chord so in a c chord for instance your root note is on the fifth string in um, a g chord there's the root note there on the sixth string um, an F chord, there's the root note there on the sixth string. Essentially, just think um, in terms of uh, the caged chords, any chord that begins with a C, an A, a G, an E, or a D. Any uh, C chord, a C, a C7, a C major 7, whatever, the, uh, the root note is always on the fifth string. So for that chord, it's the um, fifth string that your thumb goes for. Likewise, any kind of A chord, an A, an A major, an A minor, an A7, it's always the fifth string. So C and A are always on the fifth string. Uh, G is always on the sixth string. So that could be a G or a G major 7 or a G7. It's always on the uh, sixth string. Um, likewise, any kind of E, an E minor, uh, an E major, an E7, always on the sixth string. And anything with D, because um, we're going to see A, G, E, and D now for the D chords, uh, fourth string. Mm -hmm. 
D major, for D minor, D7, D minor 7, anything where there's a D, um, it's on the fourth string. So all you've got to remember is C, A, G, E, D. Okay, um, for, for that, and if you've got an F chord, well, we, we know that an F chord is basically an E chord shape that we're barring at the first fret, so you, you treat it as um, you know, uh, as an E, and likewise, if you had say a B minor, well, we know that's uh, an A minor shape that we're barring at the second fret, and so on. So, bar chords you think in terms of the, the parent chord shape down here the only time you deviate from um that um sort of uh let's go through it again c a g e d protocol is if you've got a chord like that uh c or that sorry that g over b where we we're using the b note on the fifth string for that uh for that bass note Or the uh, the G note in the uh, C over G chord, but that kind of thing is going to be uh, indicated in the tab anyway. So that is pretty much the, uh, as I say, the default kind of finger style pattern that I just go to any time I want to play a finger style. And you can dress it up in a lot of different ways. For instance, you can, um, you know, you can do little pull offs for that that, um, that little finger note there on the C chord. You know, like that. You can put those little kind of fancy touches in. All of the usual stuff that you do, uh, probably without thinking about it when you're strumming, you know. Do apologise, my guitar is out of tune. Uh, but you get the idea. That sort of thing there. That sort of thing. It's just the same. This hand's doing the same thing, but you're just putting a couple of little uh, decorative hammer-ons or pull-offs in with, um, you know, with this hand. So there you go. That is my uh, pretty much my only or my default uh, fingerstyle lick. So now you know it. Go away and have some fun with it. And as usual, you'll find um, a full tab for that fingerstyle part in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with the clip of me playing it, uh, that explanation that you've just seen there, and a backing track for you to play along with all of that, is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, and the link is in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these extra bits and pieces and goodies that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are, you know where, down in the description. And um, yes, next week what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be starting uh, basically um, a question and answer, viewers Q&A. Um, so if you have any questions about anything at all music related, about, um, you know, how I make videos, uh, how I play the guitar, how, um, yeah, just basically anything at all about anything that I do or anything at all music related that you are, you know, that you think I might be able to answer the question of anything about the channel, anything about music, whatever, open season. Um, any questions at all, then either leave them in the comments or, um, you know, send me an email, jrguitartuition at gmail.com, or you can use the uh, contact form on my website. There's the address on screen, and the link is also in the description. Just basically, uh, let's get a bit of a dialogue going, and, um, you know, just fire your questions at me, and um, we'll see uh, We'll see what happens, basically. Uh, I may end up next week with absolutely no material for making a video. I hope I don't, but um, I'm relying on you chaps to, uh, to give me some uh, fuel for the fire here and that is very much the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and found it useful and informative in some small way and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it don't forget as ever the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars a great way to kick off the weekend i'm sure you'll agree and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane 
Bye for now. 